Greetings all, and welcome to this satellite video conference and webcast produced by the International Training Center, ITC, of San Diego, California. I'd like to thank and acknowledge the entire ITC team operating under the very creative and capable direction of Dr. Miguel Cardenas, ITC's founder and executive director. I would like to also extend my gratitude of thanks to our moderator, Dr. Fred Sava. Fred, who is also a distinguished professor and member of the United States Distance Learning Association's Hall of Fame, continues to provide many ongoing and insightful contributions to our general field of study, as well as specifically to the ITC. This is an exceptional opportunity for me to present to such a large, diverse, and motivated audience on the topics of business-related issues which will indeed impact all of our lives on a global basis. I am honored to share with you today the results of my recent research efforts regarding networked knowledge management in an era of exponential global economic growth and interdependence. My professional background is in information systems technology management. I work in the international arena training corporate executives and managers on how to effectively develop implement and manage their information resources. I am both a student of and an active participant in the design, development, and implementation of technological strategies and applications which are intrinsically involved in the rapidly changing international business landscape. My goal for today's presentation is to share with this esteemed group what I have seen as an evolving opportunity for participation in the supercharged growth taking place in the international business arena. Individual companies networking together and providing open access to their organizations for their stakeholders will gain substantial leverage within their various industry segments. Network inclusion and planned process interactions are the keys to greater accomplishment within this new global economic reality. How to effectively accomplish and manage this integration is the key to sustainable success in this era and is the topic of this presentation series. One of the most widely accepted business models demonstrating the importance of network business operations is Michael Porter's concept of the value chain the value chain model provides a foundation for a clear articulation of how important relationships are in a globally integrated economy. Each segment within a value chain model is a depiction of the importance of the connectivity and synchronization of the internal departments of an organization. An expanded value chain model consisting of interdependently linked organizations networked together is called a value web. These value webs are joined together via the mutually beneficial business relationships in which all members involved leverage their opportunities for expanded success. The methods and models of processes required to form the value chains and organizational webs is the topic of other modules available to you through the archives of the International Training Center and its academic and certification entity, San Diego Global Knowledge University. The synergistic significance of the value chain network concept is of exponential proportions. Robert Metcalf, founder of 3Com Corporation and the architect of the Ethernet protocol for computer networks, formulated Metcalf's law, which states that the usefulness of a network equals the square of the number of its users. Porter's value chain concept is an actual vehicle for harnessing the power of Metcalfe's law. By becoming a member of a value chain network or web as an individual or as an organization entity can be instrumental in realizing the synergistic relationships suggested by Metcalfe's law. As the widely acclaimed futurists Carl Fish and Dr. Scott McLeod have pointed out in their research which is a central theme of many popular education ebooks and YouTube presentations, 
Businesses must now connect with people the way people connect with people. Successful business interactions are based on relationships. Relationships that must be created, nurtured, maintained, and secured. The links of a value chain network or value web are forged by the formation of personal and professional business relationships. The building and maintenance of a value chain is expedited by the proficient development and deployment of management of the existing information and communications technologies, ICT. The more effectively these relationships are formed and maintained, the greater the potential for economic opportunity and growth. In this era of big data, virtualization, cloud computing, and social media, information technology is providing phenomenal advances in the area of human relationship management. The communications capabilities, which are at our fingertips, is changing the way businesses and people do business. For example, in 1992, the first commercial text message was sent via the ICT. Today, the number of messages sent and received every day exceeds the population of the planet. Information is now ubiquitous. There are over 31 billion searches on Google every single month. That's one billion a day. In 2006, that number was only 2.7 billion a month. That's an incredible tenfold increase in only five years. Most information and communications are now moving at exponential rates. The amount of data is growing exponentially. The technological ability to provide access to that data can now accommodate the entire demand for it. It also can be scaled up technologically to easily meet the growth demands well into the near foreseeable future. Those who want or need instantaneous access to information will have it on demand and on their terms. The situation has led to a rapidly and continuously changing business climate that is often referred to as the era of exponentialism. How will this phenomenon change the way society functions? How will this change the way we do business? My research for this presentation led me to investigate many of the societal trends taking place in our globally connected universe. Let's discuss the methods that can be used to drastically shift organizational perspectives, strategies, and operations to keep up with the power curve generated by a technologically connected global citizenry, which is the greatest social phenomena of these exponential times. My remarks will not only focus on the need to shift strategic perspective, but also on how to adapt to these changes, to these new operational imperatives, and in due course, how to create a high-impact, effective, efficient, and secure model of economic operational capability. The process of leading effective organizational change in this era will be an essential skill that leaders will need to master in order to be considered proficient. Human Gear, in his classic study of the dynamic enterprise, suggests that a holistic and integrated approach to organizational change is necessary to prepare the firm to operate in an environment of rapid societal and technological change. He further states that in order to effectively facilitate strategic thinking and change, people must be enabled to see the big picture, to simplify and understand the complexity of forces impacting their enterprise so they can choose the best strategic direction, to engage all key stakeholders, to build a sense of ownership and responsibility among all relevant stakeholders so they can contribute their best thinking to the challenges ahead and be willing to put their plans into action when it is time to implement, and to build a blueprint that promotes ongoing dialogue and coordinated change throughout the enterprise. In this module, we will explore why such massive and complete organizational changes are required. In another module, the focus will be on how to effectively implement these changes by introducing an integrated model of organizational change which can harness the absolute power of an integrated knowledge management system. 
To achieve Gira's ideal vision of the dynamic enterprise, leadership must recognize that a new paradigm of operational connectivity and synchronization is imperative not only for success, but for sustainability and survival. The following is a montage of pertinent facts depicting a plethora of new trends confronting society. An awareness, appreciation, and an explicit understanding of the potential impact these trends will have on all sectors of the economy is of critical importance to all executives dealing with the troubling questions raised by today's rapidly changing set of global realities. We must answer questions such as, what are the major challenges of operating in a real-time business? Why is it important to plan for a strategic model of leadership that can guide the organization's information, policies, and knowledge resources appropriately? Is there really a need to change the way we do business to succeed in today's world? And most importantly, what are the rules that we must follow in order to realize an organization that is internally synchronized and purpose-driven to achieve successful mission-oriented business outcomes. Let's first review a few interesting facts and figures about the onslaught and magnitude of the changes confronting all executives. The data regarding the world's population in the year 2010 set the number of people globally at 6.8 billion. 50% of the world's population is under 30. In 2009, over a quarter of the world's population, or 1.9 billion, had access to a computer at home. The number of Internet users in 2012 reached 1.9 billion, an increase of 1.6 billion on the Internet in just 10 years. With the advent of the smartphones joining the family of telecommunications connectivity devices, the number of Internet hits, or accesses, will actually double over the next five years. It is estimated that over 40 exabytes of unique new information will be generated this year. That's more information than has been produced in the previous 5,000 years. In many regions of the world, kindergartners are learning on iPads, not chalkboards. The Apple Computer Corp is selling over 8 million iPads and iPhones a month. Their profit for the first quarter of 2012 was over $11 billion. That's more than doubled what they made the previous year. In addition to the rapid global diffusion of the smart technologies, the communities and relationships created by these platforms are growing exponentially along with the technologies that are making these networks possible. Facebook now tops Google in terms of weekly traffic. One in five couples meet online. One in five divorces are blamed on Facebook. 50% of the mobile internet traffic in the UK is for Facebook. If Facebook were a country, it'd be the world's third largest. And what about the coalescing effect of Twitter? Lady Gaga, Justin Bieber, and Britney Spears have more Twitter followers than the entire populations of Sweden, Chile, Israel, Greece, North Korea, and Australia combined. Countries have borders. Social media has none. How is your organization positioned to interact with its stakeholders? Diverse peoples physically scattered across the globe who are continuously connected in the electronic ether via the Internet are now the single largest market and interest group in the world. Companies find and recruit new specialized talent using social media. A new member joins LinkedIn every minute, and 95% of companies using social media for recruitment use LinkedIn. Do you have your LinkedIn account yet? Imagine what these facts mean to you and your company. Think of the repercussions your organization will face if just one of your customers has a bad experience or an unresolved complaint. That one person may be linked to literally hundreds of others, who in turn are linked to thousands, who in turn are linked to millions, and so on, in a never-ending cascading expansion of exponential networks. These vast networks have incredible power potentiality. If used intelligently, 
they can be a portal to a measurable success. If your organization fails to capitalize on this global tidal wave of potential, it can quickly spell disaster. Keep in mind that Generation Y and Z, which represents over 50% of the population, considers email passe. E-readers have now surpassed traditional printed books in sales. Groupon has reached a billion dollars in sales faster than any other company in history. Encyclopedias, once the only easy accessible authority on facts and figures available to the masses, are no longer sold door to door to families who can afford them. It is Wikipedia today that provides easy access for the quick lookup capability of facts and figures no longer is information locked up on a static page of paper in books and files. Information and ultimately the knowledge it produces is dynamic. It is continuously being updated to maintain its currency and value. And best of all, it's free. If Wikipedia were made into a book, it would be 2.25 million pages long and would take 123 years to read. The universe of social media is now the ultimate channel of human connectivity, expression, and social equality. Social media is not about technology. It is about relationships. Relationships are networks. Social media provides a platform for the existence of unified networks which are made up of the many-to-many -many relationships of individuals relating on an exponential basis to each other and the organizations in which they are involved. The Ethernet, as envisioned by Robert Matcuff, is now reality. The dynamics webs of the connectivity can be instantaneously created, accessed, expanded, disbanded, and compromised at the speed of light. How will you and your organization deal with this new reality of the networked, social, media-powered, worldwide business environment? Welcome to the new dominion of socialnomics. These interesting but alarming facts about how people have changed in the way they interact with organizations and each other is the theme of a book by the same name that fortunately is still available in hard copy text by Eric Qualman. And how can management embark upon the process of shifting their organizations to an approach or framework for exponentially prepared operations? The ETK model developed by Dr. Cardenas provides a clear and concise action-oriented method and approach to the application of organizational research, analysis, and design, which ultimately results in an enduring implementation program for planned change. The simple rules and methods associated with the implementation of the ETK model can provide both the internal and external components of the organization's operation with a level of synchronization required not only to succeed, but to excel in their efforts to achieve their missions. Continuous organizational transformation is now a necessity for survival. I strongly recommend considering the use of the highly adaptive, easy to implement organizational development model, ETK. The ETK concept not only provides the leader with a set of easy to apply intellectual tools, but it is also a body of knowledge that provides an organization with the protocols for sustainable success in a new world of interconnected networks and global alliances. In summary, the world is rapidly changing, not only in the area of social demographics, politics, and economics, but also in the way technology has evolved to create a global citizenry who demands participation and a say in all aspects of their life. This situation has led to the recognition that powerful networks of groups and individuals have replaced the traditional interaction between people as individuals and their organizations, institutions, and the businesses with which they interact. Successful organizations can no longer operate in the same old traditional manner of yesteryear. Long-term survival will depend on an organization's ability to recreate themselves into an operationally viable entity that is compatible with the demands of this new era of transparent, 
instantaneous, and ubiquitous exponentialisms. Organizations that seek to succeed in the new global economic reality will have to operationally realign their strategic and tactical plans to compete effectively in this new environment. They will need to form new networks and be able to interact with international partners and customers in real time, synchronizing to this new global environment. Explicit information, training, and educational programs on how to develop the necessary global knowledge and competencies to use these effective tools for organizational change and synchronization discussed in this module can be found in the portal of archives of San Diego Global Knowledge University. These new generation competencies are particularly crucial for managing the privacy and security risks inherently introduced by a more interconnected and open global society. I invite you to consider their competency certification and degree programs as the key to a new world of opportunity and achievement. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation. And now let's go to module two of this program.